hacer. And one more restart. Alright, welcome to Windows 98. So I use Windows 98 for the better version of DOS uh, it has, on which I can run uh, any application that requires it. So turns me straight to DOS, uh, then I can do whatever work uh, I need to do in uh, real mode DOS. So this Overland software that works with tape, for example. And then, so when I'm done, the next thing I want to do is uh, whip it uh, to a motor machine. And it's very convenient uh, to type win, W-I-N, and then that will elevate me back to the whole Windows 98 GUI. And then I can exchange files uh, on, on uh, my modern network to my modern computers and if I you know, need to do some more exercises in DOS, I can do exit to DOS. So I can flip back and forth, but of course that's only worth it if uh, my Windows 98 can uh, talk to the modern uh, Windows 7 that I have on the other computers. Now the next important thing is to allow this guy to talk to this guy which is Windows 7 and uh, it's not that obvious you have to upgrade the security system on Windows 98 and you have to downgrade Windows 7 one notch for that to work. For that we need the unofficial service pack 3 so I have my special diskette with all the goodies after install and the most important goodie is the unofficial service pack 3 so out goes the regular windows installed and in goes my super duper install okay and here is our unofficial use at your own risk windows 98 service pack 3 and it's basically a well uh, curated collection of all the stuff that has been uh, released by Microsoft post uh, Windows 98 second edition and also some stuff that was released to uh, even Windows Me or Windows 2000 has been ported back to Windows 98 So disclaimer, important notice, installation guide. Okay, so next step is to get, I think the main updates, main updates, this one. So some NTME XP Windows files included, so it gets to uh, pretty modern stuff, that's what we want to have, okay. Very boring, come back when it's done. Uh, okay. And here we need the Active Directory client extension. That's what we really need. So we're back with our souped up version of um, Windows 98. And the important thing that it did, if I do reg edit, and I go HKLM system current control set control and it has now an LSA key which shows LM compatibility level of 3 so what that does it has introduced a new uh, security uh, protocol to Windows 98 
uh, which is uh, NVLSM2, I believe. And now, on Windows 98, uh, we have to do a similar thing. You need to go to uh, Control Panel, System and Security, uh, Administrative Tools, and Local Security Policy. There you go. And eventually, it should open it. There you go. And now, we have, let's bring that in the middle, the local security policy window. And uh, if you go to local policy, security option, go down here to network, um, network security, land measure authentication level. And this guy, by default, is not uh, is not set and what you have to do is set it to send LM and NTLM use NTLM v2 session security if negotiated look you get that one and um, so that's a shortcut to do a key uh, to add a key to LSA let me see if you can rebrowse it uh, no, we didn't do it. Yeah, there you go. So it added that key that wasn't present before. So here it's, uh, if I can read it here, you have to browse to HDLM system current control set control LSA. So same path as on Windows 98, except the key now is called something else. Uh, and so it created the LM compatibility, compatibility level key, which is now set to one. Uh, and so with that one set to one, and that guy over here set to three, they should be able to talk. Uh, and of course that's a risk level to, it diminishes safe security in Windows 7, so only do that on your working the machines you use for retro computing or your own internal network. So let's see how it goes. Over here I have a few shares. Windows 7 document and this machine is called Workshop 2. So I think I can get to it. So you cannot browse to it, but I should be able to enter it directly. So that would be to tomb work shop two slash. So you really have to know where you're going. I'm going to win seven documents that's how I call it and then it asks me for my password over there and you didn't like this for some reason and I uh, realize I skipped a step I have to go down in the little trip to the control panel here and go to a network, where is network? There you go, network. And make sure my primary logon is a client for Microsoft Networks. And now it's changing something. Okay, so one more restart and hopefully we'll be there. Alright, so finally now when my, uh, Windows uh, 98 starts is going to ask me for a password and that I uh, provide the same username and password that, that, that I use on Windows 7 and that should grant me access 
to the network. Alright, so try again. Network neighborhood. Oh, see, it's so my other Dolch pack which is on at this moment. Uh, so I don't think I can browse to it. Yeah. I really have to be super specific. Workshop 2 slash win 7 document. I should choose easier names. There we go. All right. So uh, if you go straight to it, this is uh, basically what I have on my Windows 7 machine. So what I need to do is make shortcuts of the stuff. I have all the files I want now. I can just download it and BIOS image. Come on. There you go. Oh, beautiful Windows. Fine. There you go. So here we go. I just transferred file from Windows 7 back here. To Windows 98 here, so I am good. So in the other direction to share the Windows 98, actually I forgot you actually have to enable it. There is no sharing here as a service. So in my network control panel, I want to be able to give others access to my file. Okay, and it's probably going to install yet another thing there you go you got file printer sharing please insert the disk ah that's the famous one where you have to insert your original disk it's such a pain so usually i copy the entire disk on the hard drive since i have enough space and you don't have to ask for it okay i'll see you back when it's installed Okay, so now we're back after sharing has been enabled and I should be able to share this full. We're just going to make our life easy here. No password and see if I can get to it from over here. This one. Vulch 3. There you go, and it's right here, and I can see all the stuff, and just I'll add it over here, see on door 3, perfect. So that's it, I can share between the two computers.